I'm Ted Berg for SNY.TV, and this is the baseball show presented by Pepsi Max. I'm joined today by SNY analyst Bob Ojeda. Bob, we've been talking about pitches, pitch mm -hmm. by pitch. I want to talk about a split fingered fastball today. First of all, how do you grip it? Well, what they do is they try to get it as far back into their fingers as possible, split their fingers, if you will. And the idea is to have it come out and tumble. You want it to tumble so there's no rotation. So the bottom, essentially, you hear that phrase a lot. When it gets about to the cut of the dirt, it just drops straight down. So it's a slower rotation than a fastball. It's the opposite rotation. Yeah, you want oh, okay. the fastball rotating this hard. You want this thing to come out and sort of tumble and then take a dive at the end. And when is a good time to use a split finger fastball? Uh, a lot of the times, if you are proficient with it, you can throw it for a strike first pitch. It kind of gets in the hitter's head. It's a great time to do it. That's an excellent time. But if you have one that's a chase pitch, ideally you want to throw it with two strikes and try to get the guy to bite on it out of the zone. You see a lot of guys preload it because it's a, it's a pitch that if, if I go to grab it in my glove, they can see me fooling around with it. So a lot of times a guy with a good splitter will preload it like this and then change to a conventional pitch while in his glove. So he'll preload it for every pitch? Every pitch and then change it in his glove. Is that something hitters can pick up on out of the hand easier? Uh, the splitter per se? Yeah. No. Okay. Not, if it, not if he does everything correctly. That's the whole trick of the thing. Make sure you're not tipping it with your uh, a slight change of delivery. That's not what you want to do. Let's look, look at some of the guys who throw mm -hmm. the splitters most often. And you can see, if you look at the list here, it's, it's almost entirely relievers. Are, is it easier to get away with throwing a ton of splitters if you're a reliever? Well, it is because it's more of a, a surprise pitch. And you know what? You don't want to throw that many of it because a, a lot of times it's not a strike. It's a lot of times it's a chase pitch. And uh, the one thing that is noticeable is most of the time it's right-handed pitchers too because they don't have the natural movement that most lefties do. For whatever reasons, lefties have a bit more movement than righties. So you'll see more righties with a splitter. Now, this dates back to 2010. It's from, from all the data from 2010 to, to the middle of 2012. Mm -hmm. You see a couple of guys throwing it almost 50% of the time. Mm -hmm. Could you get in trouble like that? No, not if, you, not if you know what you're doing with it. If you fall in love with it and it's no longer effective, then you get into trouble. But if you balance it against your fastball and balance it in so much as you're throwing it for a strike enough time, uh, then they have to pay attention to it. If it's a pitch that's automatically a ball, as soon as they recognize it after it's left your hand, you're not going to get any swings, and then the pitch becomes useless. Well, look at how effective the pitch has been. This is OPS against for that same range of time. Mm -hmm. And you can see Jeff Samarja, a guy the Mets just saw, and, and J.J. Putz, a, a familiar name to Mets, to Mets fans. Have you seen anything out of these guys that's impressive? Well, just the fact that they can throw it at different times in the count and for a strike. That's the key to the whole thing. That's the key to probably any pitch, but especially a splitter because it's a very effective pitch. It's You're going to hit the top of it most of the time, and you're hitting the top of it. That's why you have such a low OPS. Right, really a ton of ground balls you'd expect. Absolutely. Bob, who had the best splitter you've ever seen? Oh, gosh. I, I tell you something. I, I really don't know because in my day, splitter wasn't all that common. Okay. Uh, they refer to it as a fork ball, and, and the splitters, pitches come and go. Yeah. What happens is it's like flavor of the month. Now, some grasp it and ride it and do well with it. Others try it, and it becomes the hot pitch, but then figure out, well, that's not going to work for me, so they change. In my day, really, the splitter wasn't that big of a deal, except for the guy with Suter. Houston and Suter. Oh, Mike Scott had a splitter. Yeah. So, and Well, no, Mike Scott cheated. The okay. other guy, the reliever, had a splitter. Most of the guys, as you see, you could pick them out. One or two guys had it. Most of the guys, it's fastball, changeup, slider, your basic pitches. Bob, thanks so much. You're welcome, Ted. Thanks for watching the baseball show presented by Pepsi Max.